What does an old growth forest look like when it's not a forest? I recently had the opportunity to visit some folks in Southern Indiana and Kentucky. And one of the things that they're really concerned about is white oak. They started to notice the decline of white oak in their region decades ago. And it's a really important species. It's an ecologically important species. It's also an economically and culturally important species used to make things like bourbon barrels. Now in these areas where white oak has been declining, white oak is a focal species that represents entire ecosystems. So if you go into these areas, what you'll see is mostly these relatively closed canopy forests that are located on the sites of where for thousands of years, there were oak woodlands, which are these like open canopy oak forests, savannas and prairies. And this is true for a lot of the South and the Southeastern United States where a lot of these historic grasslands have become forests. And the reason that a lot of these open canopy forests have become closed canopy forests is because of the displacement of fire, the loss of the cultural burning practices of the indigenous peoples of that area, and then the suppression of natural fire and the loss of these herds of hundreds of millions of bison. The measures necessary to get white oak back in this region are really complicated, but they involve generally these elements. You gotta cut trees to open up the canopy of those closed canopy forests. You've gotta control deer to lower these overpopulations of deer that are eating all the little oak trees. You have to control these introduced plants that are taking over the understory, and then you gotta burn. And the interesting thing about it is, as you're managing for white oak, we're managing for entire ecosystems that have been lost from that landscape might not look like a forest to us at all. It might actually be a savanna or an oak woodland or a prairie. It might be an ecosystem that is highly dependent on disturbance. And that actually in the absence of disturbance becomes something totally different. 